I think next we'll look for the um, for the books for the frightened engineer. That's a nice little side quest. Shouldn't take long, hopefully. Um, it says like one of the things we need is in here, but you found the first in the community center. Oh, our father has one. Okay, that's where the next one is. I'll go check that out. I just want to kind of get it done because the last mission is pretty much coming up, so... We really should finish up here before we do the final mission. Um, apparently it's up there. Um, this. Ooh. Medical treatment in the event of contagion. Yeah. Due to your hard work and positive attitude. Medical and merit based. Okay. Oh, we got XP. Nice. What's this? Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report us. Death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement, something for the workers. Be thinking about it. <laughs> Don't know what to tell them. And then to buy Theodore D workshop, wear a smile, or you'll get your medical privileges. Oh, and you'll get your medical pri privileges. It's a start. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I do want that mag pack. Not a peep for me. So we got. I'm qualms about taking from these people. Hello. A true prey. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. What's this? Pick up guide to medical mechanical engineering. We use this one. Symptoms of the infection have now reached a critical mass. Same stuff. Alright. <laughs> On you add me. Alright, so we got that one. Let's get the next one. Where's the next manual at? Uh, it's gotta be on the map somewhere, isn't it? The map points to... A landing site? That can't be right. Nah. What's the next one? According to the journal, it is... Oh, where would he f Yeah. Okay, we found one in Canary. There's no need to wait until you found all three. Okay. Well, where's the third one at? Huh. Oh, they're gonna show it on the map, so... Hmm. Where else could it be? Run the first volume in the Queen of Sand Cannery. Yeah, I guess I can't finish that one because I don't know where it is. Gotta get the logic module. 
that's in the plant. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe we don't have to leave the planet right away. Um, ah, wish there was more clues. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, I guess, I mean, die robot and everything else is at the power plant. So I guess we go there now. There's nothing left to do. Um... Yeah, so let's let's go to the uh, geothermal plant. That's where the next two quests are, so <laughs> might as well do that if I can't do the last one. But uh, I'm sure the book's got to be somewhere, right? I mean, maybe it's in like one of these places, I don't know. Maybe I missed it or something. There was a terminal in there, did I read everything on that terminal in there? Did we check everything out? Oh, that's just to arm the fences, okay. Security logs, da da da. Yeah, nothing that interesting. Alright, let's go back in. From the planet to your living room. Now, do I want to sell some stuff? I think so. I picked up a bunch of junk. Let's see. Hospital blocker. 113. Yeah, it's okay. Not as good as my, my hammer, though. So, and let's sell a lot of junk. And uh, I wish it told you, like, how much weight you've got left. That would have been nice. Uh, I think I've got, like, pretty much one of everything, and I've got a spare of some things. Hmm. Have I got a lot of something? I've got a lot of salt tuna fillets. Uh, I kind of want to sell... Some of these. What else have we got? Mm, modules and all that good stuff. They weigh much? Nope. Weight 0 0.5. That's fine. Do these weigh anything? They weigh 0. Good to know. Um, yeah, I don't have that much stuff. So that's cool. I, so I thought I'd be full of junk. I hope we're doing the right thing. We're doing the right thing. Why? What are we doing? I don't even know which one we're doing yet. Uh, oh yeah, we need to go in there. Did stuff respawn. Dead. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's have a look in the uh, security office. I think we wow. I think we looted all this. Nexus file. What? I had to borrow your copy of Young Space's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering, and I need the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Ah, so it's in the repair bay. Okay, good to know. Chaos everywhere. Mechanics gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing the screams. Oh, Lord. I think some <laughs> that's someone's leg. <laughs> was someone's leg. Uh, I'd like to leave early for the day. Please deduct the delinquency for my pay. <laughs> Thank you. Proud to be, be a member of the Spaces Choice family. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. But uh, apparently there's a copy in there in the uh, in the repair bay, wherever that is. Where's the repair bay at? Where's the repair bay at? And do we, do we want to keep on using this weapon or do we want to use this weapon? Or do we want to use this weapon? I'm not sure. I think this would be a good weapon. 
Yep, I was right. But we can try this one. So it seems like the enemies are uh, respawn. So where's the where's my repair bear? There's a logic module. Let's see if we get a thing for this one now. We do. Ah, nice. I'm so glad they give us a uh, an indication on where to go, and this ain't it. There is something here, though. What's this? I do believe this is where we set the uh, the power. I don't want to do that just yet. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I want to pick that. Oh, go on then. Go on then. Let's see what's in there. Gosh, that was totally not worth it. <laughs> oh, unlock door into passcode. Okay. There's no files. Chester Higgins again, that hull head found him fiddling with all the mechanicals. He is working on some logic module confiscated. It should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Companies replacing guards with all the mechanicals. Mechanicals going crazy, locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage is gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. Okay. Oh so, uh, that didn't work out. They didn't manage to lock it down. Yeah. Ah, it's a proximity thing. I wasn't close enough. Is everyone okay? Ooh. Can I get to that? Okay. I like this weapon. Not dealt with it quick. It's like I could disable all these from the control room, but I mean, then I wouldn't get, get, wouldn't get the fun of fighting them now, would I? <clears throat> but who knows, maybe you can't actually close them. Ooh, that's shiny. That is very shiny. Nice lava shiny. Here's the room we want, with volume 3 inside. Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Let me just get that. Borrowed the copy of Young... I think it's Volume 3. Which obliged. Wait a minute. So someone else borrowed it. What the hell? What's this? Nexus Repair Log. All I know is that these modif modifications were used on our recent refit. The company went through the trouble of refitting every mechanical plant. Every mechanical in the plant, guessing it was working on visiting technicians. Yeah. Logic module, time to do a little bit of experimentation. Self diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. 
Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. <laughs> hmm. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Okay. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. <laughs> confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. <laughs> So what was that updated? Let's see, you found this, you found that. There's volume in the repair bay. According to the notes, there's a copy of the manual down in the place called the pit. Hmm. Where's the pit now? So it looks like the mechanicals kill all these people. This is crazy. What's this? Ooh, cool. What's that do? E1. Hit E1 apparently, I don't know what that does. <clears throat> mm. I don't know where the pit is. I don't think uh I don't think we found anywhere called the pit. Maybe the pit's in this building? I don't know. Hmm. The pit. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Who is that? He's not real. Get away! Someone down there. Who are you? Higgins. Hello, Higgins. You're not real. You're <laughs> not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Okay. Who's not real? <laughs> Was the trying to stall you? Most people don't see me coming. Most people? But <laughs> I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Hmm. Slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, <laughs> Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. <clears throat> okay. 
You were an engineer? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Oh, cool, man. Uh... If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know where to start. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Mm. Um... I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. I am. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should mm. have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Hooray, we got a password. Any idea where I can find a logical module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Hooray, that's handy. Um, do the we tail. need to? Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Ugh. Uh, how have you been surviving all this time? Yeah, I want to know that in this lava tube. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. Ah. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Mm. This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. It's horrible. How could this have happened? You mean, why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. Uh. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. <laughs> missed out? <laughs> Funny guy. He's been hanging out here all this time. Oh, there's volume three. Nice. Glad I looked around. So, um. This is. Ooh, an impact hammer. Some cream. You just gonna, like, stay here, dude? You know? You, you can leave now. It's safe. Kind of. Yeah. I suppose this was the only place that didn't have robots in it, so you're just, like, hanging out here. I guess that's all that's down here. He said the other room, but I guess it's up there somewhere. So we've done the frightened engineer. Uh, what about die robot? We need to get that logic module next. What's this door here? Mm, don't know if I want to use that. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Incoming! Nice one! That's the last of them! See, I don't know what that does. Uh, <laughs> I want to keep pulling levers and stuff unless I know what they do.
Oh, we can now divert power. If we want to. to get that logic module thing so I came here for I don't know how to get it though can we get through this door yes <laughs> what's this oh we need like six things ah why do I still need stuff what are those anyway Can I buy some? In the vending machine, maybe? <clears throat> hmm. Bypass shunts. Yeah, I can't buy those. Why can't I buy it? You cannot purchase this restricted sh stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to do this one then. I, don't, I can't get in that room. This is like a way to open it up or something. If there's any more lockers and things around. What's this? I can't get through. So that was for that. It's a bit late now. Oh well. So here. Hoping for some loot. Ooh, advanced defensive helmet. Nice. Mr. Ouch. But yeah. That's it. Oh, it's skill that we're lacking. Yeah. We've only got like 39 or something. 39 of something. Yeah, lockpick 39. <clears throat> oh yeah, we couldn't find anything that raises lockpicking. Ability cooldown, we got... Movement speed. I 
don't think I got anything that raises my stats. Yeah. Anyway. Should we do what we came here to do, I wonder? Uh, logic module... Over there... There's a thing up there to do... Security Chief's Corpse, ooh. What did we get over there? <coughs> Maybe he's got a passcode. Hey. Keycard. Ooh. Can we used to open a door somewhere in the facility? Somewhere. Is it our door? The door we need? Or what? I totally missed that. So I'm glad it had it signposted for me. Uh, let's, let's just see if it fits. It might not, but yeah, it does fit. Nice. We got a logic module. That's done. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. So you just needed to get that guy. It's nice it uh, gives a quest indicator because I was like oblivious. Um, I would have never found him because he was like behind something basically. While we're here, we might as well dive at the do this while we're here. Because we've done that, done that, now comes the power. And where do we, where do we do this? It's over here. Apparently. I thought we'd be changing it from over here, okay. As I thought, this is where we do it. So, um, how are we doing? 22% efficiency. Okay. Well, didn't we see some other levers around? There were some other levers around that maybe that we can improve the efficiency? I'm going to try it. See what we can do. Because there was the one down here, wasn't there? Maybe because the efficiency's down. the one round here I should have I should have done the one round here while I was here <clears throat> there was one round here need to get the efficiency up I think could be wrong uh, from here oh, that's this one Shut off steam release valves. Oh, cool. I got a bit of XP for that. Nice. Why didn't I do that in the first place, eh? I keep finding things after I need them. <laughs> it's like... That's not good. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. This one should hopefully increase. That's E2. So we've done E2. And E1. So where's... Is there an E3? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to know where these were, but maybe I need to do it after I've, like, you know, I'm doing things before I should. Oh, there's another thing here, isn't it? Oh, cool. Stuff, stuff's going through now. I think we want to, like, running through there, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Unless there's like more to this. Oh, there's nothing running through that pipe there, look. There's no nothing running through this pipe. What's that go to? Oh, that's the exit. So there's a, a pipe there with nothing running through it. Huh. Ah. How do we get this pipe going? Do we need to get this but it goes through there, look. Oops. 
Maybe we don't need it to get that pipe going, I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's going. I think I think most of these are done. Yeah. Everything seems to be working. Yeah, we're going back down there. I th think that's all working now. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go check the terminal and see what's going on with that. Most things seem to be working, so. Ugh, I have to go all the way around to get there. Ah, now that's definitely not working, so there's something left. Something left. Where do these pipes go? Pipes go in here. Once we do this, there's no going back. Pipes go in here. Excuse me, ma'am. <clears throat> Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Hmm. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Hmm. He tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Hmm. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Hmm. I'm barely listening to you. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I liked hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Hmm. Still 22% efficiency. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Geother, head to Geother Monday. Uh, if you d if you divert the power, it will deny Edgewater. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know which one to pick. It's like that seem that doesn't say what it does, so but that the fact that it's twenty two percent efficiency, that bugs me. Um It's gotta be a third switch somewhere. Um 
Let's see. There was a was there a switch down here? Yeah, we done that one. <clears throat> that was E one. Yeah, we did E one. And then there was there was another one. Is the one in here? I can't remember. I mean, I remember we went down the stairs and we did this. I've, I've got to do it. <laughs> it's bugging me if we don't fix this plan. So there was one, there was one like... Was the one over there? Yeah, that's right. We fixed this, didn't we? I think we fixed this. I'm pretty sure we, uh... Ooh, it was a workbench. Yeah, I'm sure we fixed all this. Yeah, we certainly fixed E2. There's E2. So... There's got to be a third pipe somewhere. It's the third one that this is E2, right? Yeah, that's E2. Where's E3? Yeah, I just missed the control panel or something. It's this one. Yeah, there's E3. We did E3 as well. So what's the, what's the deal? Ah, no. Did we fix it? I guess we fixed it. We did all three, right? Yeah, I've done all three, so... I don't know why I think it's still broken. I guess because it didn't change from 22%. So, our choices is... Uh, divert the power... Or not. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. Like, I just want to see what happens if it if I do. Can I give it a save? Yeah, let's give it a save. Let's just uh, confirm that this 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 is you've got to redirect it to somewhere. Uh, let's see, warning: redirecting is an irreversible procedure. So if we if we do this, we're ah right, we can choose where we want it to. Okay. Well, as much as I'd like to uh, keep the botanical laboratory going, uh, Edgewater is a bigger settlement, so you know, I'm gonna have to go with a greater, you know, the needs of the many. I think that's how I'm gonna go. That sucks, but I mean, it's like there's more people there, so yeah. There we go. Job's done. Hopefully, I made the right decision. I have no idea. It didn't seem to be a, a right decision, to be honest. So, but yeah, good stuff. It was kind of lesser of two evils. I mean, 
Pavardi's words like reminding me that she like seemed to take delight in it. it kind of made sense to me. And it's like she wants Edgewater shut down, and that's not good either. Um, you can't fast travel near hostiles. Why not? I'm not near any hostiles. There's no hostiles here. Everything's dead. Oh, there we go. Now I can travel. So we'll ha do the hand ins, the side quest hand ins first, if I can. Uh, let's see, journal. Let's get the engineer his stuff. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. <laughs> oh, it's it's this guy. Yeah, it's Thomas. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. <laughs> Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you want. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? All of them. Uh, looks like I've got to do the all three, one at a time. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your paper. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <laughs> I've got one more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. All right, buddy. He's elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Geothermal plant, yeah. Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Well, that's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Miss Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. <laughs> I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Mmm. Electro charge surface. Nice. That looks like everybody's uh, out of power. Hey, Zoe, you made it back. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. <laughs> I guess we'll talk with, um... One of us want to go see Adelaide. what happened. Let's see what she's got to save. Uh-oh. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces <laughs> and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Hmm. Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Hmm. What happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. 
That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Oof. Hmm. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. Yeah. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't just going to leave his post, so I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Okay. <laughs> what happens when you run out of corpses? What happens when, yeah. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Mm, true. Uh, I wanted to continue that, but maybe we can't. Look at that. The snakes come back. I'm a snake. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to convince him, but I sure would like to get rid of Reed so people can have a better life. Maybe we have to off him. Hope that's not the case. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. There's nothing left for you here, I'm afraid. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Hmm. <clears throat> well, don't do anything hasty. I'm gonna talk Reed into stepping down. Sure. Suit yourself. I'll be here. Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do is all. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Hmm. So don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. You know where to find me. All right, so it looks like we gotta get Reed to step down one way or another. They probably got a persuasion check, which I'll fail, and then I'll have to spread his brains all over the wall, no doubt. Let's just uh, hand in that robot thing, side quest. I want to make sure they're all done, just in case. Just in case. Probably nothing, but just in case. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. You mentioned a logic module, and I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. Yeah. You're a credit to your uniform. I am. Oh, well, that reminds me. They're <laughs> looking to getting us a uniform. Yeah, man. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. 
I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. Thank and you. a little something to remember me by. Again, eh? Ooh, leveled up. Nice. Now we definitely need to get our stealth skills up. Two forty. Dialogue. We're gonna, we're gonna need lots of dialogue, actually. Actually, let's revert that and just put everything into dialogue because we're gonna need it. Because I really don't want to kill Reed if I can help it. <laughs> Uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe I could give it a safe. I, mean, I don't know if I want to save scum either. It's like you have to kind of go with whatever. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'll give it a save just the same. This it all goes horribly wrong. And uh, what weapon will I use? Probably like shotgun to the face. <laughs> That's what he deserves, the scum bucket. He's not a nice fella. You're not a nice fella and you need to you need to leave. Get out. This is a fine day, friend. You Power suck. flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, <clears> when <throat> can I expect them back at their posts? When you leave. <laughs> Hmm. I spoke to Adelaide, but she won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. Hmm. You need to I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. Huh. But I have done my best for this town. Oh, no, you haven't. You've done a shitty job, mate. Hmm. Your town is a mess. <laughs> You let Adelaide's son die. Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. The company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. Hmm. You say you're doing your best, but all I see is the town falling to pieces. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. Oh, yes, I can. I'm a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Hmm. <laughs> well, at least I tried. <laughs> Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Yeah. This town doesn't eat anything but Sultuna. Of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna. Yeah, it looks like we gotta kill him. We eat Saltuna hmm. here, and only Saltuna. Yeah, he's gonna force me to kill him. What exactly are you putting into those cans? Processed, huh? liquefied, retextured Saltuna rendered in a chemical bath, of course. Well, mostly Saltuna. We've been experiencing a Saltuna shortage, you see. So we've had to improvise. <laughs> improvise, yeah. We've added wood chips, some mushrooms, a bit of sand, tossed some canid bits in our processor ones. It all tastes like Saltuna in the end. It can't Health be healthy. Health is a state of mind, friend. Afflictions in one's body are reflections of afflictions in one's work ethic and attitude. Now listen, I do not know what pretty rhetoric Adelaide has fed you. But plagues are a simple fact of life. 
At least found a way to uh, he's the persuasion check. Found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? <laughs> you could lie. She's growing her crops with the special fertilizer. And when you say special fertilizer, <laughs> you mean what exactly? <laughs> Their bodies could have been taking them from your cemetery. Uh, Corpse is mostly human. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke <laughs> of brilliance. <laughs> what a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This town needs, uh... Adelaide, she won't come back so long as you're here. So, Adelaide wants me gone. Trade my life for the life of the town. You understand what she's doing. If I leave town, I'm as good as dead. If I stay, Edgewater will die of attrition. Adelaide has discovered some secret cure for the plague, and she is holding my town ransom. Hmm. Uh, this town could use all the help it can get. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Three. Hmm. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. You won't last a day outside the walls, you know? I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. <laughs> Take care, then. <laughs> well, at least I didn't have to kill you fine people. He says. Hey. Jobs are good. I'm sure you can save him, but given all the, the deplorable things he's done. Yeah, because I had to do it. Uh, you didn't have to do it. Not really. I mean, you know, if you explain things to people and you try to work it out best you can. Maybe you could, like, draw lots or something. Let's see what it says. Yeah. I mean, you, you should have done some sort of lot draw rather than like, the best person to survive. <clears throat> I, get, I get the perspective, but it's like, that's kind of harsh. I mean, a lottery is harsh as well, but at least it's fair. <laughs> Get a fair chance of living. Look at that. The snakes come back. I talked Reed into leaving. Come back to Edgewood. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Yeah. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. Yeah. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Mm. 
Edgewood is better off with you running the place. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. <laughs> some kind of twisted. Oh. And we can take the power regulator, of course, because they ain't gonna need it here. Hmm? Very good, very good. I think it all worked out in the end. Hmm, seal. Yeah. Everybody gets. Uh, I mean, this is this is not safe. This is not good. You know, the city will be better for people. Yeah. So they're gonna close down the cannery. Uh, I guess they'll do something else. Yeah. You can go back now. I know. I'm trying to think. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Adelaide's agreed go to go back to Edgewater. Didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed was still running the place. Something must have changed. Yes. If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll follow her. Reed. And you're going back too? I'm glad Adelaide's coming back to town with us. With Reed gone, we're going to need her leadership. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's that then? What's next? Return to the unreliable. Alright, so you just return to your ship, basically. And we completed everything. We didn't botch anything. Hooray! That's awesome. Yeah. So um, you pretty much got the like one of the best endings and only Reed got to suffer basically, but you know, I mean Yeah, he had it coming. <laughs> you know. It's like it's like tried to be all like I did the best thing I could and stuff as bad. Like, really? You think corporate's ever gonna do this? Yeah, I guess we're done here now. And next I'll be going to the unreliable and maybe getting out of here. I don't know what's gonna happen next, guys. It's very exciting, but fortunately I'm gonna have to leave it off here. But yeah, next time we'll be going back to our ship and seeing where the heck we're gonna go next. The next time, guys.